So can I, I'm gonna share something really cool that you guys are doing. You guys were talking a lot about Edmund, right? And some decisions that the the author was making about him. And something cool that you were thinking is like whether you agree or disagree with what the author is doing, right? Cause you were saying, oh, like we don't think that Edmund should have been accepted back. Like, so you kind of are disagreeing with the author, right? So sometimes in books, that happens. The author does something and we're like, what are they doing? So when that happens, something you can do is you can kind of ask yourself, why is the author choosing to make this decision? And then you can say, is there, are they trying to teach me something? Is there some like bigger message or lesson here? So let me give you an example. In Harry Potter, have you guys watched Harry Potter or read it? I haven't watched or read. Okay, well that's okay, stick with me. So in Harry Potter, um, towards the end of the series or the movies, one of the main characters, Dumbledore, he dies. Yes. yes. And when that happened, I was devastated. I was so upset with J.K. Rowling, that's the author, as to why she would do this. Like, why would she choose to kill off Dumbledore? And so I had to kind of stop and ask myself, hmm, why is she doing this? What is she trying to teach us? And so after thinking about it, I realized that I thought maybe she was trying to teach us that like in order sometimes for good things to happen, you have to sacrifice yourself. Like Dumbledore had to sacrifice himself for the greater good. He had to sacrifice himself so that eventually Harry Potter could kill Voldemort. And if that hadn't happened in the book, that all of those other things might not have happened. But if he had died, then Voldemort wouldn't have gotten his wand, and he would have been like... True, but I think in the end, like, that was an important thing to show us. Like, the message that J.K. Rowling was trying to say was, like, you have to sometimes sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Does that make sense? Maybe. So, right now, I want you guys to think. You are upset with some of the decisions that C.S. Lewis made, right, about Edmund. So I want you, as a group, to kind of stop and say, hmm, I wonder why the author made this decision. And then ask yourselves, like, are they trying to teach us something bigger here, like a bigger message? Okay? Okay. I think um, uh, they're trying to show us that if someone's bad, always have faith in them that they can be good, like Edmund did. did. He had faith in the white witch and she, he thought she was good, but she ended up not being good. So, have faith. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think I got to kind of like show the show. Based on that, I thought that when it shared earlier, When I realized his mistakes, and yeah, you know, like like Eliza said in the other one, the conversation, I think he did realize his mistakes, and um, I think he he noticed that the, like the white witch was doing bad stuff, and he um, um and then he went back to them, and then they, yeah, and then um. They, he, when he realized the mistakes, he came back, back, back to Su Susan and Peter, and then fight the fight the white witch. And what happened? What did Susan and Peter do when he came back to them? So, what do you think that that teaches us? Like, what do you think C.S. Lewis was trying to tell us there? Give them a second chance. Yeah. Maybe right, but it's important to forgive. I think I think it was um, everybody makes mistakes because he made a mistake thinking that the white witch was good. I kind of want to change my idea because I said he thought she had good, but I think he was kind of being selfish for the teacher's delight. But then he figured out she was evil, and he might have not been nice to him. Yeah, in the beginning. So you guys just said right there, right? Like you thought, hmm, I'm upset at what C.S. Lewis is saying about Edmund, that they're, he's, they're just allowing him back. But then you thought to yourself, like, why might he be doing this? And maybe it was 
is because like he was trying to teach us that second chances are important or that we have to forgive or like love and 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 even if people make make mistakes that's okay right also sacrifices because uh, um, Aslan sacrificed himself mm. for mud. Yeah. Was it or was it Peter? It was. Um, it was for Ed. Um, That's so cool because you guys are thinking about like the bigger messages and themes. Right. It is a connection. Yeah, totally. So anytime you're reading or at the end of a book, especially when you're really trying to think about like what the author's trying to teach us, kind of do that. Like think about like, hmm, what decisions, what decisions maybe did the author make and why did they make those? What are they trying to teach me? Oh, really good.